Hello everyone, welcome back, and today we're going to be doing a very brief look again at the first memory, the memory of adventure. Now the memory of adventure is uh, essentially the same as it was when we last spoke about it for the skeletal sentry route. Uh, there is a quick difference though at the beginning, you may have noticed it, I actually just picked up a 200 gem. Uh, apparently it's pretty free to get and it actually doesn't cost you any time. Money wise, we're not looking to pick up any extra cash, although there is more, so if you're falling behind for whatever reason, maybe you took an SC spill somewhere, you can still grab the 600 wall gold that's below that checkpoint, and you can also grab the two pink gems and the 750 chest that are on the far right. It's a lot of money, and absolutely none of it is necessary for the Bending Souls route. And once we're done with the first memory, we're actually finally able to go and unlock the Bending Soul itself. Now the small mini dungeon with the Banning Soul is a little bit difficult, uh, especially compared to the Skeletal Sentry one. Uh, there's some new tech, some uh, damage boosts that we're going to be looking at as well. Uh, they are a little bit faster, but there is also the traditional tried and true way of making it through the room. Approaching this cricket, you want to jump into a full dash attack on him for as much benefit as you can. And then you're looking to slash the top dirt block on the right side. Now once you clear it out, Luan's running in the background so you won't lose time lingering here for a moment. You're going to do a full jump off the second one, and you want to make sure that you don't hold right until after you've waited just a little bit so that you can collect that 200 gem. You'll make it over the ledge without doing a ledge hop, and Luan is still trying to catch up to you so you didn't actually lose any time doing that. Uh, menuing can save an actually decent amount of time, so please remember to practice it. Again, I'm using L1 as one of my start buttons, so I just land right next to uh, the NPC, tap up, then L1, and then I can focus on my menuing uh, pretty quickly without having to reach my thumb over for the start button. Now for the mini dungeon, you're going to want to just start mashing uh, your start buttons just to clear out Red's text immediately, and then hold right. The moment you notice Spectre moving, you can then do a full jump and you'll make it over onto this ledge. I don't like to mash jump because then I'll usually just catch on the side of that small ledge there and do a flip and that's unnecessary time loss. Now for these damage boosts, what you want to do is uh, as you skate off of this taller pillar here, you want to keep holding right. The timing is uh, pretty strict. You want to do a left attack just before you fall into the skeleton, but you can't just drop down onto him, otherwise his attack is never going to hit you. As for this damage boost, uh, it saves only a little bit of time. You just have to jump the same way you would normally to climb up out of here, except on the last jump, you want to jump to the right and then at the last moment do, again, a left attack to change the way Spectre is facing. You'll fly into the skeleton's attack and you'll get boosted up onto the ledge. The old strat is uh, pretty easy. Just land up here and fire two bounding soul shots. Uh, you really can't mess this up so long as you manage to do that. Then take your your own way out. Uh, you can either ledge hop quickly with uh, small wall climbing, or you can do a little bit of wall climbing so you don't get the ledge hop at all. Uh, take a good look. This is what the room looks like at full speed, just so you can see. And again, this really only saves like a handful of frames, but I have to put this in here because I'll be getting lots of knife emojis from Tolu if I don't put in every single frame saver that I can, so... There it is, enjoy. So that wraps it up for the uh, Memory of Adventure plus Bounding Soul Dungeon. Uh, just go for the easy way, unless if you really want to save all those itty bitty frames. Next we're heading straight for the Lost City, so until next time, stay spooky.